Rachel and today I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be opening my Alvi Planning Co advent calendar. Oh it came in the post the other day and I'm just super excited. I'm going to open it all at once so this video is going to be a spoiler. If you have this calendar and you're going to open yours day by day and you don't want to know what's in this then you need to turn off and watch a different video and I will catch you in the next one. Uh, but if you are ready to see what is in here then keep watching. I am super excited. I got the LV Planning Co advent calendar last year and it was amazing, I absolutely loved it so I had to pick up this year's um, and yeah I have not opened it yet, I've opened the box because the box, this black box is what came through my letterbox and it's got my address on the other side so I don't want to show you that um, but this is all I've done, you will see when I get inside of it that none of the envelopes are open, I've not watched any unboxings, I haven't seen any unboxings appear online actually. Um, so yeah anyway let's get in here, so this is a... 24 day advent calendar I believe, let's have a look, it's been so long since I ordered it, I feel really naughty as well because this is before the 1st of December but hey ho, do what I want, <laughs> open my advent calendar if I want mum, mum would be going mad like no you can't do that, so is this a 12 day, this might be a 12 day, okay there is day number one, yeah this is a 12 day isn't it, so we have got a 12 day advent calendar packaged absolutely beautifully, it came in these uh, black envelopes last year as well and I managed to open them all really carefully and repurpose them, I think Robin and I did an advent for each other and I reused them and sent them to Robin, uh, but yeah these ones are too cute with these little numbers on as well, I might see if I can use my undo and get those off and repurpose them, but without further ado let's get started, so are you sure you want to watch if you keep watching from this point, you're going to see everything that is in this advent calendar. Final warning. Have you gone if you don't want to watch? Okay, let's go. Right, so number one. We have got, I'm not going to be able to save these today. I don't feel like I'm in a saving it mood. I feel like I'm in a rip it open and see what's in their mood. So in envelope number one, we have got a 2023 sticker. How cute is that little character? He's the same one that was on the on the little thingy there. So if I manage to get that up with someone do, I've got two. So that was what was in box number one. In envelope number two, we have got. Oh, I can see a theme. We've got an animal print theme going. We have got some layering stickers, and these have got beautiful gold foiling on them. I love these ones. They are very pretty. So I think what's probably going to happen is I'm going to come up with a whole load of stuff that I can use together to be able to make some kind of spread or kit. Number three's envelope feels a bit thicker, ooh, and that is because there are some very exciting die cuts in here. I love the die cuts from LV Planning Co, you can get different packets of them on the website. Let's have a look what we can find. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit so you can see these a bit better. So we've got lots of little die cuts. We've got three girls with different skin colours, which is nice to see. We have got a coffee cup and a little lipstick and a perfume. We've got a bow, armchair, a purse and another lipstick. We have got a rose, there's that cute little cheetah, is it a cheetah? It's a leopard isn't it? A leopard never changes his spots, very cute. His mascara's on point, I want to know what he's using. Oh, we've got some little books there, we have got a vase of flowers, teacup, cushion, some little deco there and a, another purse. So they're very cute, they're going to be nice for a setup. Envelope number four is a bigger envelope, so let's see what we have got in here. I'm really not saving these envelopes today. Okay, we have got, oh, we've got a kit. So we have got the new format universal kit. It says you can use it in Hobo, A5, A6, B6 planners and more. So we have got a two page kit and some deco. Oh, I like this. I like that a lot. 
So you can see it's all coming together, it's matching, and it's very Alvi Parninko, isn't it? All the deco and stuff is very um, reminiscent of things that you can find in the shop. So if you like that kind of thing, then you definitely need to go over and have a look. We have got envelope number five, oh, which is open. And I have got a very sweet little name vinyl. That's very delicate. Pretty. In envelope number six, we have got two sheets of paint stripe stickers which again match really nicely with the kit. We've got some plain ones and we've got some animal print ones. And then in envelope number seven, this again is a bigger envelope. Ooh, and in here we have got, oh, a little pouch. That's cute. We've got a little pouch with that little character on there. It's a Velcro fasten. I like that. I'm going to put that in the back of my Stalogy and that is going to carry the week's kits every week. So in here we have got another kit. We've got a full weekly kit here this time. And this is foiled in gold foil. We've got our nine full boxes. We've got some functional boxes. We've got some checklists, some really pretty headers at the bottom down there. Can you see that sparkling? Some checklists, some trackers and some writing. And then we have also got our date covers and some washi. That's really pretty, I like that. This is all very pretty and I definitely would have bought some of the things from this collection if it had dropped in the shop. Um, on its own, not as the advent calendar. So I'm really, really happy that I've picked this up. That's so cute. I love that little character, adorable. That's my favorite thing that we've had in there so far. We have got number eight and this feels like washi to me. We have got a very pretty Alvi Planning Co washi. And I think this might be the first washi that's ever been in the shop. I don't know if you can see, number one, I'm holding it upside down. But it's got the matching little deco from the kit. That's really nice, really, really pretty. Then we have got envelope number nine. And in here, oh, some gold foil to do's and today's. Definitely will be making use of those. Loving those scripts as well. And the foiling on that is absolutely beautiful. I can't see anything wrong with it. No flakes missing, perfect, love it. In envelope number 10, we have... What do we have, what do we have? We have tabs, are these tabs? Yes, these are little tabs. We have got 12 months of the year on there and we have got 12 months of the year on there. These are perfectly sized for Hobonichi or your um, task planner or your print fashion weeks or something like that, a little standard planner. Could use them in Eustology as well if you wanted to, but they are perfectly sized for a smaller planner, love that. Number 11, we have got, Oh, sheets of icons. I love the icons from Alvi Planning Co. and I pick them up all the time. So this is nice to have these. I believe that this is one of everything that you can get in um, separate. So there is a sheet of like social media ones and there's a sheet of household ones and there's a sheet of fitness ones and there's a sheet of icons for food and things like that. Loads of icons over in the shop. So do go and check those out. But I love that you've included some of those in the advent calendar. And then lastly, we've got the biggest envelope of all, which is number 12, also sealed in a little plastic bag. What is this gonna be? In number 12, we have got, oh, we've got some vellum. We've got some matching vellum to go with the kit. We've got a sheet of beautiful rose florals with some foiling on. And then we have got a sheet of the bows as well. Very, very pretty. So that was number 12. So that is everything that was inside of my Alvi Planning Co. Advent calendar. 
uh, and I have to say I'm really happy with it. I love the theme of it. Um, there's definitely lots of things here that I would have picked up in the shop if they were standalone, so I'm very, very happy that I picked that up. It was also a more affordable advent calendar as well, I have to say. Um, you have to have a look and see what's out there and what you're willing to spend. There were some very pricey ones, and then I would love to be somebody that could pick up like one of the Lauren Phelps Designs ones that's, you know, over £100. Um, but I can't justify spending that amount of money at the moment. But this one was definitely an affordable option for me and I am really happy with it. So, if you picked up your Alvi Planning Co advent calendar and you have ripped it open, uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. No spoilers though to let anybody know what uh, is in it, just in case anybody accidentally clicks on the video and they haven't yet opened theirs. But that's going to be it from me for today. If you like this video, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!